Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Brooke Chalmer, who is the Senior Manager of Product Marketing at Sonicwall. So if you've watched our previous Sonicwall IT Jams, you'll know who they are. But if you haven't, Sonicwall is a global cybersecurity company specializing in firewall, network security, cloud security, and more. Welcome to the jam, Brooke. Thank you very much. No worries. So to start off, um, so several events in 2020 have changed the landscape of cybersecurity around the world. Um, obviously, the pandemic has been probably the number one um, catalyst. So how much of this is due to changing behavior from, uh, from cyber attackers kind of in response to the pandemic as well? So ultimately, just like anything that's trendy, people like to name things or jump in on the bandwagon and trying to get more attention you know, in a way. So in the case of COVID-19, we're seeing a lot of people develop COVID-19 theme or a coronavirus themed malware, ransomware, et cetera. The most creative attacks I saw were where people would actually email an infected PDF or office document to someone and saying, here are your new standards for operating with the, the new business normal or you know, with your work from home policy from state government, local government, et cetera. And people were clicking on this because this looks like it should come from a third party source and not from you know, inside your domain. So people were falling victim for those type of scams. We saw over 20 different scams very much like that during this time. Yeah. Um, and so what specific uh, changes in behavior from cyber attackers have you seen? Um, have they changed like their motivation? Have they changed their um, modes of attack in favor of one form of attack, for example? Yeah, obviously there probably will never ever be a change in motivation. Uh, it, it always varies from person to person, but ultimately we're seeing a more targeted attacks. Uh, in another topic we'll, we can talk about is my experience with Russian hackers, and even they are changing tactics, trying to become more focused. And the metrics speak for themselves. We're seeing roughly over the first half of this year, a 33% drop in the overall malware volume that you see. Now, naturally, you would think that this is very good news, uh, but this, what this means is less spray and pray and far more targeted attacks. In this case, 33% reduction in malware, but we're seeing all, uh, a 63% rise in new variants that we're finding with real-time deep memory inspection. That's RTDMI here at SonicWall, uh, a, a unique technology to look for advanced and new forms of malware that are out there in the market. So with the, obviously with that, uh, we're seeing intrusions up by 19%. Obviously that's designed to get in exfiltrate data or ransom servers, uh, ransomware servers. Um, and then of course in there, we're seeing a 20% rise in ransomware and now office documents are the method of choice for attacking people. And are there any other like, um, specific weaknesses that they're looking out for? Um, that have arisen out of um, the events of this year? Well, naturally it's whatever new vulnerabilities are being exposed. And with Microsoft Office, you're gonna see a few more vulnerabilities than you would see with some other things like PDF. Uh, PDF was only 10.6% of all of the attack vectors that we see out there today are the, you know, the, infection, the, the, the intended infections out there today. Uh, conversely, Microsoft Office in the suite there, about 22% of all of those attacks. So we see a bit of that. It always shifts and changes based on what that vulnerability will allow for you to do in terms of take control of an Office, docu uh, office uh, desktop or take over control of um, an administrator's device that can then allow him or her to infect the rest of the organization, which is why last year, 2019, uh, we saw a lot of uh, hosting providers, MSSPs, MSPs being attacked because they can try to infect a lot of different, you know, properties. Hmm. Yeah, and in your view, how has the cybersecurity industry kept up with the different uh, vectors of attack and have, um, as a whole, has it done a good job or is there, does it leave much to be desired? Um, and how it's reacted. Sure. Now, naturally, over the last number of years, these, the industry has always been leaning more towards behavior-based and, and analytics-based 
defenses for malware and malware defense ultimately. So with uh, here at SonicWall, we do have our own client security, which is becoming more and more popular all the time because now people are, are working from home 100% of the time, just like me. And uh, we, we need to make sure that people's endpoints are safe as they are often away from the perimeter and not going through VPN into company servers, um, often just going out to the wild internet and sometimes checking into VPN as they need to. So ultimately, we're seeing that shift on the cybersecurity front. Obviously, the first half of this year, all the different types of technologies and remote technologies uh, were a big uh, balloon for security companies to sell those to their customers. Obviously, because a big shift and uh, you know, eighty, you know, seventy percent of people work from home once a week before the pandemic. Now it's a hundred percent all the time. Right. Cool. Well, that concludes Tim, uh, today's Tim at IT Jam with Sonic Wall, Senior Manager of, of Product Marketing, Brooke Chalmo. Thank you so much for coming on today, Brooke. Thank you.